you Mardi Gras close-up. Highlights from Bacchus, which rolled earlier tonight. The TV6 Mardi Gras close-up, spotlighting the glittering events of the 1984 season. Hosted by Leslie Carday and Bob Krieger. Brought to you by Sparkling Sprite. It's only Sprite for you. And by National Canal Villery, your Mardi Gras supply headquarters. Good evening from the crew of Bacchus. I'm Leslie Carday with Alec Gifford. And here beside me is the LSU marching band. Oh, yes. Yeah, one of making one of their few appearances in a Mardi Gras parade. And what we are at now, folks, as you undoubtedly know if you're watching this broadcast, this is the march of the crew of Bacchus, one of the premier parades of the Mardi Gras season. Always rolls on the Sunday before Mardi Gras. And what a show we've got ahead of us, Leslie. You're not kidding. In fact, Bacchus himself is Kirk Douglas. I tell you what, why don't we listen to the LSU band, one of its rare performances in a Mardi Gras parade. Take it away, fellas. And we are now catching things from the parade marshal, which you're seeing on camera going past right now. And here we have the Bacchus Riding Lieutenants. The Bacchus Riding Lieutenants who are throwing great things our way. Lovely gold doubloons. Here comes the float number one, the really first float of the parade, and this is Bacchus. Kirk Douglas, the Hollywood celebrity. And I bet no introduction is needed for him from the crowd. Look at him. This is really kind of a kind of a big night for Kirk Douglas. You think a guy out in Hollywood who did the kind of things he's the kind of life he's lived would be very jaded. But but every man who has come from Hollywood here to reign as Bacchus has always gone back and told great stories about what a fantastic night it was through the streets of New Orleans. You know, this is where a guy I think really feels his connection with that audience that he's been making friends with all those years out in Hollywood. So here he is now, and they're saying hello back to him. Hey, Kirk Douglas, Bacchus, told me something. <laughs> Coming into view here is something that's really worth hearing now. This is the John Ford Highland Pipe Band. And what a sound it is from these bagpipes as they come by our TV6 cameras. What we are seeing now is float number two. That big smiling face are the officers of Bacchus. And they're held by the hands of a giant grape cluster figure. And those officers of Bacchus proudly ride inside a huge wine cask. And that's beneath a towering marble portico. And it's a beautiful float. These floats, of course, are made by the Blaine Kern Organization, the premier float builder of New Orleans, who's been at this longer than any other float maker in New Orleans. Here comes the McDonough 35 Senior High School Band. And as you're going to see, folks, what a group this is. interesting montage of many rivers from the Nile in Egypt to the Po in Italy to the Mississippi River right here. Right here in New Orleans, the Mississippi River, Old Man River. And here we have the Nichols Senior High School Band. Float number three. This is the Nile River in Egypt. How would you ever guess with that magnificent float featuring the huge blue and golden head of King Tut? Two golden sphinx at the feet of the float while the rest depicts the mighty Nile of the ancient Egypt with its pyramids, obelisks, and date palms. Gorgeous float, don't you think, Leslie? It sure is. And next coming up is a U.S. Navy Steel Band and a long truck. This is a group that has been coming here for years now, the Navy Steel Band. They play on those drums that you just see in the Caribbean. Oh, those are great. And uh, they are really good, these guys. Listen. And onward with our theme of rivers of the world, this is the romantic Seine River. 
It's depicted here as it runs through Paris, the city of light. And on the front of this float, a huge figure of General de Gaulle. General de Gaulle, who visited New Orleans many years ago and got a street named after him on the West Bank. Oh, and here comes the Live Oak Junior High School Band. Float number five, the River Yukon in Canada. This is one of the most unusual floats of the parade in that it has double animation. The head moves on the bear, and then the bear itself moves, and there are lights on both sides of it that flash on and off. It all works on air pressure as well as electricity. Blaine Kern is really proud of this one, the Yukon River of Canada. You know, Alec, it looks like a scene straight out of Call of the Wild, doesn't it? Those oh, are gorgeous. Oh, boy, I hate to tell you, we're going to make out like bandits here, Leslie. Here we have the Lawless Junior High School Band. This float depicts the Amazon River from one of my favorite countries, Brazil. This is the world's largest river. And because the river is so hard to get to, you're gonna see on the side of this float lush vines, colorful flowers, and brilliantly plumed birds. And we are having Brazilian-type weather for this parade tonight. A really great evening. Huge crowds of people, with hands outstretched, it is really a sight to see. You can see them in the bottom of your picture, just a sea of hands stretched Look at out. Look the beautiful parrot, Alex. This is the Jesse Jones Senior High School Band from Houston, Texas. Bands do come here from all over the country, in fact, from all over the world for the Mardi Gras Parade. And this is float number seven, the Orinoco River of Venezuela. A beautiful float that depicts the history of the Orinoco. For hundreds of years, the mouth of the river providing a safe harbor for many conquistadors and Spanish galleons as shown on this float. Shucks, look at those gorgeous costumes they're wearing, as well as the beauty of the float itself. The costumes are really magnificent, aren't they? They certainly are. Alec Gifford and Leslie Carday having fun, right, Leslie? You're right. And we'll be back having more fun with our Bacchus Parade in just a moment. Stay with us. <laughs> Item number seven. Parade of Science. Hello again from the crew of Bacchus. Leslie Carday here with Alec Gifford. And what you see here is a river we'll all recognize. Old Man River, the mighty Mississippi. Perched on a giant steamboat. I'd say that's a river we have just a tad of experience with. <laughs> I may have never been to the Aragon of Spain, but believe me, I know Old Man River. Throw me something, mister. Thank you. And here we have the St. Mary's Academy Senior High School Band. And now the Aragon of Spain, float number nine. Don Quixote, it says, of Cervantes, Spain, goes forth to the battle with windmills on this beautiful float. The magnificent castles of Spain with a distinguished Moorish design are in the foreground here. Toward the back, you can see the plains and the mountains of Spain and a lovely rainbow, too. And from that rainbow, it is raining doubloons and beads. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we see the Carver Senior High School Band marching their seven or so miles through the streets of New Orleans. And let me tell you, by the time this parade is over, not only will they be winded from playing those instruments, but their calves are going to be sore for a long march. Comfortable walking shoes are what these kids have on for the night as they march through the streets of New Orleans. This one is the Yangtze River from China. And on this float, you'll see a Chinese junk. An Asian Mandarin side and state beneath a towering pagoda here. And there are two beautiful princesses on the side in traditional costumes. Bad joke, Leslie. It doesn't look like junk to me. <laughs> no, not at all. Beautiful junk. All right, 
And now we have float number 11, the Danube of Austria. The most romantic river in the world, they call it. As the Danube comes to life with the figure of Johann Strauss, conducted the Viennese Opera House. The magnificent palace of Vienna sits amid billowing clouds of blue and turquoise, enhanced by delicate lines of silver that flutter in the night wind. Look at these beads come fluttering in the night wind, and it's Leslie Carday fluttering and conking us on the head. I don't know about fluttering, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> and look what we have here. We have King Kong, and boy, is he large. Yeah, kind of interesting. That's a perennial in the parade. And kind of interesting, when I was at Blaine Kern's den this morning for Newsmaker, they were repairing King Kong's feet, as well as Queen, Queen Kong, Kong, who is right behind him, as you will see in just one moment. Here we come, and there is Queen Kong. And right behind her, you will see Baby Kong. Anyway, they had to repair their feet. The foot doctor was working on King Kong and Queen Kong. People throw things at them, try to hit them in the mouth, and especially do they destroy their feet. It's interesting how many bees have gotten hung up on their hands and feet. <laughs> And there's Baby Kong, not to be left out, the smallest member of the Bacchus Parade, Baby Kong, joins his parents in the magic of Mardi Gras. And coming up on the Samuel J. Green Jr. High School Band, a local band. Mexico is float number 12, that beautiful river that forms a common boundary with Mexico, featured by a gigantic sombrero senor at the front of the float. Burros, horses and cacti, the Dolby Hacienda, portray for us the arid terrain of the Rio Grande. We're going to take a break now from this beautiful crew of Bacchus. Just a word before we go back about these cups. There's quite a favorite here. They're made by Giancona, a guy named Corona Giancona. had this idea several years ago, and boy, has this caught on. These cups are made here in New Orleans, a little shop out memory. Back in just a moment with more from the Bacchus Parade. Stay tuned. Have a drink. <laughs> Alec Everett with Leslie Carbet back at the scene of the Bacchus Parade. Band number 13, the Xavier Prep High School Band, performing in front of our cameras here at Louisiana and St. Charles Avenue from our TV6 reviewing platform. And they're putting on quite a show for our cameras. Let's watch. And look at this animation, Alex. Look at that head move up and down. That is really something. Really something to see. The Riders is... on the side and barrels. That's right. There are a lot of great bands in New Orleans, but few as great as the St. Aug Senior High School Band, one of New Orleans' premier bands. <laughs> of Israel. It's getting kind of hard to be heard above the din here, but this one has stopped right in front of us. The ancient Jordan of the Old Testament comes to life in a beautifully designed float, which you're seeing right now. Can you see the lovely woman? I guess so, soft and shrouded in the general folds with a cap of jewels and feathers gracing this float. At her sides, two handsomely saddled camels. Temples with rich draperies and urns also decorate this float. One of the great rivers of the world, the Jordan of Israel. And we've seen this band now quite a few times, the East St. John Senior High School Band. I think they've been in four or five parades so far. Okay, watch this. And now we're turning to our theme of rivers, the Rhine River of Germany. And at the front of this flow, 
the Jesuit High School Band, which is quite a trip back in time for this particular reporter. Many years ago, I marched as a member of the Jesuit High School Band through many and many a parade. And the thing I remember most when it was all over is I had a real good time, and boy, was I tired. <laughs> by a painted African idol on the front with neon lights and two, two skulls with flashing red eyes. And here we have, ladies and gentlemen, the Landry Senior High School Band, another one of the great bands in the audience. And just behind them there, you're seeing their performers dancing in the streets. fun out here. We're going to just go away for just a minute, but we'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> I don't have to tell you, it's Mardi Gras time again. <laughs> Item number seven, parade assignments. Don't worry, there's enough to go around. <laughs> who's handling lost and found? Okay, who's handling juveniles? And you plain clothesmen, let's make sure you're behind the folks. Make sure you're watching out for trouble. This year we have a whole new batch of barricades. Remind the folks that these are for their own protection. I don't want to see any ladders in the intersection or on the streets. And remember, you folks on the horses, make sure you're not out there just to look pretty. That goes for the rest of you, too. And the paramedics are on Channel 6, so if you need them, call them. And hey, let's be careful out there. And hey, you folks, Let's be careful out there, too. Join TV6 again tomorrow evening at 10.30 for another look at the fun... We'll be right back, and here we are back. Leslie Carday and Alec Gibbard at the Bacchus Parade, and this is the River Po of Italy, perhaps closest to the god Bacchus's heart, has on his front a lovely Italian girl, and on his back a bottle of wine. And coming up on now, the Phillips Junior High School Band. Marching majorettes in front, Big tube is in the back. And now a trip to the Soviet Union, or in this case, old Russia. We have here depicted a scene of the Volga River. And may I say, while well, this is passing by, speaking of Russia, look at the Russian tractor that's just pulling this. Blaine Kern has a fleet of more than 100 Russian tractors, and, uh, while we have been talking for some time about trade with the Soviet Union, that's been going on for years now. Very dependable. Drawn by two white horses, singing the song of the Volga Boatman. And now we have the Clark Senior High School Band performing for our cameras here at TV6 at Louisiana and St. Charles Avenue as a Bacchus Parade goes by. Oh. Next float, I'm going to let you do most of the talking about this because there's an old friend of yours aboard the River Thames, 
Float number 19 has a buddy of yours there. Guess who? That's right. My partner at 5 o'clock, Bob Krieger. And we're going we're gonna to see if we can talk to him when he gets up here a little closer. Well, we may not be able to talk to him, but I think he'll be able to talk to us. I don't know exactly which one he is because Bob told me beforehand <laughs> that he's got to keep that mask on since it's a tradition. Yeah, but he's just about within range, so why don't you give him the signal, Leslie? We have a pre-arranged sign. You watch this. Okay. Here he is, third from the front. I see him now. Talk to us, Bob. Well, well I tell you what, Vera, I know that the face behind that mask is Bob Krieger. Hi, Bob. <laughs> there he goes, up, Mr. Bob. Third from the front on the right side. Well, Leslie, it didn't work, baby. We didn't hear him, but what a heck. But we saw him. He was having fun, wasn't he? He sure was. The West Jefferson Senior High School Band is now coming into view. Marching past our reviewing stand here at Louisiana and St. Charles Avenue, turning their flags and making their music. the river Shannon of Ireland, and more songs and poems written about the Shannon probably than any other river in the land. A lovely red-headed uh, headed, uh, maiden of Ireland. Through the countryside, along the banks of the Shannon, one sees sheep, stone houses, thatch roofs, and all the famous stone hands. Sometimes you're lucky, you may see a leprechaun playing in the meadow. <laughs> and I don't know who's manning that camera, but... <laughs> I suspect it's another television station. <laughs> what you're seeing now is the Cohen Senior High School Band. And since we're at Louisiana and St. Charles, we're very early on in the parade. And everybody is very, very active here. I suspect by the time they get toward the end here, near the river gate, these can be some mighty tired folks. They sound great, though, and here they come. What you'll see here are scenes from a moment in history such as the Japanese prison camp and the bridge itself with dynamite charges already set. Also on this float, Japanese, English, and American flags are seen along with a train running right through a very thick jungle. And this is the final float of the Bacchus Parade, the Ganges River, River of India. A beautiful float, I might say. And a beautiful time, Leslie Carday and I have had describing the 16th parade of Buckers. It certainly has been wonderful, Alex. A broadcast coming to you from the corner of Louisiana Avenue and St. Charles Avenue as we say good night to Buckers and good night to you. And thank you for watching and thanks for being here. Leslie, right. fun working with you. And join us tomorrow night. Good we'll night, everyone. Proteus. Good night. Join TV6 again tomorrow evening at 10.30 for another look at the fun festivities of the 1984 Carnival.